What's up, what's up, Chalk Wagoners? It's C-Max time. So we picked up a bank from our good buddy, Christopher. You gotta check him out, I'm gonna tag him in this video. And step one now is we gotta get our angle on. Let's check it out. So we have two pieces of angle on. Let's bust out the measuring tape. Each one of them is gonna be 24 inches long. 24 inches long. You can see here, this is three inch angle arm. So next we gotta go ahead and mark the holes for where we're gonna drill out our all thread support. Let's see, sorry. What we're gonna do is get these washers. We're not actually measuring anything out here too crazy. Washer lean space. Washer length space. We'll finger length it at the bottom, finger length it at the bottom. Mark it, and then we'll get ready to drill. So stay tuned. I gotta put this phone down. All right, chalk wagoners. So we have all four holes marked off. We're gonna drill through this thick bad boy. Definitely not with that either. That's just on there for video. But stay tuned. I know it's going to take forever to drill that through with a DeWalt. I hope we have enough batteries. We got all four holes cut out. You can't see on that side the boards there. But all four holes cut out. We use a three quarter inch Milwaukee bit. We have some all thread that we picked up as well. I don't even remember the size, but we got matching nuts and bolts. I'll let y'all know here in a few. Stay tuned. All right, chalk wagoners. So we have five eighths all thread rod. We just got a two foot piece of it. And as you can see here, we marked it. Let me zoom in. We marked it at nine and a quarter. So we're gonna cut nine and a quarter off of each side. And that should be enough to do 145 amp hour bank. So stay tuned, we're gonna chop this bad boy apart. So we went ahead and painted the compression bars purple, but now we also have to cut some wood so we can put in between that metal compression and the actual cells. So stay tuned. 